In this Jing video, we'll review how to set up the uh, linkage software for homework problem uh, for homework number two, um, the last problem. And so, uh, open up the linkage software, and uh, have you click on linkage type, and select the four bar linkage, and then select next. Uh, so we're going to change these values. So based on the homework problem, uh, problem number five on homework number two, uh, length two, there are four lengths, and length two is two. You have to make sure you hit enter. Uh, just don't put the cursor down to the next box. You have to hit enter. Uh, and then length three was also two. Length four was three inches. And length of link one was 3.5 inches. Um, angle of link one is zero. And then this is uh, on the coupler. We'll come back and talk about this a little bit later. This is a, a point that you can pick that's on the coupler itself, some distance from uh, the pin and at some angle. We'll, we'll come back and do that. So I'm just going to switch that to zero, zero, and then have a start angle of 60 degrees and an end, end angle of 60 plus 360 would be 420 degrees. And the, uh, the delta angle and the speed of the input link is OK as it is. So now we hit recalculate. Uh, you can see here's the linkage setup, and if we go ahead and run that, of course it's non grashoff so it can't reach uh, past the, uh, these points right in here. It can't actually get there. Um, so, anyways, if we then if we want to plot those points, just select, uh, or I should say, the angle. Select next, and then print, and then fly this uh, this out right here, and select theta for all magnitudes. So now you can see there's the, the theta 2 that we had of 60 degrees. There's theta 3, 34.8, and so on. And this was the transmission angle at that angle. So th these are the values that uh, would correspond to what you're looking for in the homework. Um, and so if we go back to um, right to our original plot here in a switch crossed as opposed to open configuration and then recalculate then you can get the same thing you can get those angles go ahead and run that and then if again if you want to get the uh, the angles in that configuration you would just go to next and print and select theta and so these are the values now that you would have for uh, theta 2, theta 3, and theta 4. So um, let me go back again. And so in terms of, let me go back to the open configuration here. Now, if I had a point, this is the coupler right here, right? This is the crank. This is the coupler. And if I wanted to plot a point on the coupler, Suppose, suppose I wanted to make an a equilateral triangle here. So in that case, I would say distance from the pin. We're talking about this pin right here. Distance from the pin would be 2. Remember to hit Enter. And then the angle would be 60 degrees. Enter. And so now we did a recalculate. Uh, you can see there's our equilateral triangle. So again, these values right here have to do with the distance from the pin and then the angle from the from the link itself. So this is 60 degrees and this is 2. And uh, so we were to run that now, we would get that kind of motion. So uh, anyways, I hope this clears things up on how to use the linkage software for problem number 5 on homework number 2.